Hey y'all, this for my Libras. All right, this your girl Creo Shawty Tarot coming at you with another video. This is gonna be for my Libras all placement. So take what resonates, leave with us not. Holy Spirit, please protect my energy as I give this message to my Libras on today. Please allow me to be the channel and provide Libra with clear and honest messages. All right, so first out we have the sun. We have audience here as well. All right, we also have the modern. And then we have the seed. At the bottom of the deck, we have the skeleton here, all right? So I feel like, um, pay attention to the signs and synchronicities at this time, Libra. I feel like what's going on is there's a group of people that could be watching you here with the audience card. And I just feel like, um, I feel like somebody is being called out, all right, for their behavior or something like that. Um, this could have something to do with like you establishing something for yourself and other people around you. It's like they wanting people to feel sorry for them, yet they're not trying to make any type of improvements in their life. All right. You could be calling this out, especially if you want some type of public platform here with the audience here. So that lets me know that you have some type of audience or a group of people that could be watching you at this time. So I do feel like you could be exposing certain skeletons or something like that as well. This could be this martyr or this person who's in this martyr energy skeleton. We have causality right behind the skeleton. We have the drunkard and then we have the victor, the victor here. Yeah, so it looks like somebody is winning in this situation. I feel like it could be you, right? And due to whatever it is that you're winning or being successful at, it's like somebody is wanting somebody to feel sorry for them. All right? Somebody could be a heavy drinker here is what I'm getting with the martyr and the drunkard too. Um, but yeah, I just feel like, a, man, people just need to start taking accountability. All right. I've, I'm seeing heavy fire energy. So Leo, Aries, Sag could be significant here. All right. The skeleton is earth energy. All right. That's that five of pentacles energy. So somebody is definitely in the energy of lack here. Meanwhile, somebody is having new beginnings, planting seeds here. All right. They could also, like, now may also be time for you to see that somebody here is toxic. All right. The karmic, they could be trying to put you in your head or that you're putting somebody in their head. So tell me about the sign for my Libras. King of Swords. That go your energy right there. All right. Yeah. We have the moon here with the four of pentacles here. All right, so with these butterfly wings next to this king of swords head, I feel like there is some type of uh, evolution that's happening here or some type of transformation. And um, I feel like uh, you could be keeping some secrets to yourself. All right, with the moon and the four of pentacles, there's some type of secret or something that you know that you could be keeping to yourself here. All right, this could be in regards to these signs and synchronicities that you could be receiving at this time. All right. Like I said, there's a lot of chatter. There's a lot of people talking here with this Princess of Pentacles energy. And I feel like it has something to do with this audience of people. Right behind that, we have the Five of Wands and we have the Two of Cups. So this is concerning some type of connection that you have with someone. All right. Somebody could be saying that you're taking care of somebody or vice versa. Hmm. Wow. We had a magician coming out in the reverse. We have the hermit and a knight of cups here. Yeah, so like I said, some something is not manifesting for somebody or coming into fruition here. All right. And due to this, it's like somebody is isolating themselves. All right. Yeah, I feel like somebody's confidence is being affected. All right.
clarify the audience for my Libras. Knight of Wands. Seven of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, so somebody is trying to like take some type of um, fast action towards you or something like that, all right? But I, I feel like it's only because this person is like hot heated, they feeling defense, uh, defensive, all right? Yeah, and I feel like it has a lot to do with your happiness, uh, the way that you shining or something like that. It could be a Leo for some of you all, because this is clarifying a, um, a fire sign. Then we have the Ace of Wands here at the bottom of the deck with the Two of Wands here. And then we have the Seven of Wands here. All right. So I feel like there's also another energy that could be trying to come in. Uh, this person may feel like they want to win you over because they watch how somebody has treated you or did you or something like that. All right. So I'm getting like somebody is wanting to come in and they could be telling you like, get rid of this loser or something like that. All right. Something like that. I just saw the Five of Cups try to flip over. So, clarify the martyr for my Libras. So, somebody may be witnessing that somebody could be some sort of hindrance to your life or what it is that you're trying to do or something like that. Nine of Pentacles, yeah. Yeah. So, like I said, somebody is constantly, like, trying to see what they can get from you, all right? This person could also be using you now. It's funny that this energy is coming out because I promise this is kind of like that same energy that I was picking up in Sagittarius reading. So, you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. We had a foolish man coming out as well. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, Eight of Pentacles here. So this has something to do with like uh, what somebody do for work or something that somebody's been working on. It's like landing them new opportunities, or, uh, another position or something like that. It could also be attracting new love in, right? Yeah, we got the Seven of Wands here. With the Ace of Cups. So yeah, I just feel like somebody is trying to fight for someone else's position or something like that. All right. Um, like I said, somebody, it seems like they wanting other people to feel sorry for them, but yet they're not moving their feet to change their situation or something like that. It's like, you got to do more than, um, sit there and look pretty or whatever the case is. All right. Tell me about the seed princess of cups. Yeah, I feel like you're definitely watering something here. Meanwhile, there's a lot of lies, all right? A lot of gossip and things like that with the moon and the Knight of Cups about things that people don't even know about, all right? I feel like there's a lot of speculation about what it is that you're doing, all right? To manifest this new beginning or something that you're working on, like I said. Yeah, we got the Five of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. The feet here, all right? That's also like a... Uh, that jealous energy. All right. So somebody may feel some type of way because they feeling like you outshining them or you outdoing them or something like that. So you could be a feminine and this could be a masculine that's feeling this way or vice versa. All right. So tell me about this skeleton for my Libras. The hangman. Yeah. Somebody is definitely feeling stuck. Yeah. The moon here. All right. Knight of Swords. All right. So this person is like, they having some type of secret animosity towards you. All right. And um, I feel like some of you all, you wondering where this person's attitude is coming from. Right. But it's because it's like something about you all's connection is it's like, how can I put this? It's like making somebody feel like uh, they're being left behind or they're being forgotten about or something like that, all right? But I, at the same time, this person has not did anything to benefit in any type of way here, all right? So they can't really be mad even if somebody was trying to take their spot because clearly somebody was not doing their job or something like that, all right? But yeah, 
This is concerning somebody from your past. This could be a child. This could be a childhood friend. All right, with the Six of Cups energy, we had the Eight of Swords here. Somebody is all up in their head here. All right, behind the connections that you're receiving, the love that you're receiving here. All right, how fast things are taking off. This person is toxic here. All right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> man, I don't even... This is crazy. Pay attention to the signs. I also feel like this is the type of person that try to put on an act in front of a group of people. All right. Holy Spirit, what is the overall message and advice for my Libras in regards to this reading? Ooh, see, look, accept what is dying, imagine solutions, grieve your losses. See what I'm saying? So somebody is definitely losing something here, all right? And they're having a hard time accepting that something is no longer is or going to be or something like that. And instead of them trying to find these solutions, it's like they constantly wanting other people to feel sorry for them with this martyr energy, all right? So, bad look. <laughs> I'm going to have to read all three of these. Starting with accept what is done. An aspect of your life is clearly coming to an end. Some area has lost your interest and you can no longer muster the enthusiasm to carry on. It is time to surrender and let things end with grace. Your divine energy is calling you to accept the natural cycles of life and death and directly admit what present was presently ending in your life. Let go of sentimentality and be honest and frank in your assessment of things. Do not waste time tending to a garden that simply will not grow. It is time for a big change. Face the unknown with courage and confidence. Exciting and more beautiful things await you. Your divine invitation is to understand that in every termination, you're crossing the threshold of rebirth to another level. Rather than prolonging or denying what has ceased to bring life to your spirit, accept the inevitable truth. That the cycle for this connection has ended and consciously allow it to die naturally. Don't run from your emotions or deny your sorrow or fear. It's time to resign yourself to divine will and fully trust the normal rhythms of life and death. Remember, all that passes on is only in a state of becoming something new. All right. So, yeah, there's something new that's happening in your life. And I just feel like it's not sitting well with someone, whether that's you or this cross watcher. Right. So let me get into Imagine Solutions. You may feel overwhelmed by problems for which there doesn't appear to be any immediate solution. You may even feel trapped by unpleasant circumstances over which you have no control. Well, this is not the case. Your divine energy is calling you to look more deeply within to find creative solutions to your dilemma. You, ne you are never stuck nor are you required to agree to anything that doesn't serve your highest good ever. Workable solutions will appear when you believe they exist. See your present condition through the eyes of your highest self. Your divine invitation is to use your creative imagination to guide you out of present challenges and onto higher ground. Begin by naming your obstacles honestly and accurately. Next, imagine as many solutions to your problems you face as possible. Write them down so that you can see them on paper. Call upon your divine energy to inspire you to write. I mean, to inspire you as you write. Things will change for the better for the moment you use your power of imagination to solve problems. Now we're going to get into grieve your losses. And I can't make none of this shit up. Are you grieving over losses? Are you looking backward, trying to get past the past? Do you fear your chances for happiness won't come again? When life comes, losses and endings. I'm sorry. When life comes, losses and endings, it's important to accept this, not to, what, not to dwell indefinitely. Learn from your losses so that you don't repeat the mistakes that got you here. Then let go. Are you? You are never trapped and always free to create a new. So somebody is definitely feeling trapped, all right? Whether it's you are the cross watcher. Your divine energy is calling you to grieve your losses and learn from your mistakes fully so that you can improve upon your creative efforts and attract what your heart truly seeks in life. 
Then allow yourself to be reborn. Your divine invitation is to give yourself enough time to fully express sorrow for your losses and find acceptance and forgiveness for your errors and judgment. Free, I'm sorry, feel all your feelings, including anger, despair, depression, and then move on. New life is ahead. Permanent mourning creates permanent loss. The future has many gifts awaiting. Be open and curious and go discover them. Yeah, so it's more to life than this person, this situation or whatever. But something is definitely dying here. And instead of somebody constantly thinking about the problems, they need to be figuring out the solutions. All right. So that's what I have for you, Libras. And until next time, bye.